Hi everyone and welcome to my new let's play of The Walking Dead. This is my first Telltale game. I'm a huge fan of the show. Sadly I've never read the comic books, although I hope they're very very good. Um, and I know this isn't my usual kind of game. I usually play games with female protagonists, but I just really like The Walking Dead a lot, so I made an exception. <laughs> and um, I think we're gonna enjoy this. I love me some zombies. So let's see what this game has in store for us. Here we go. Episode 1. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I like games like that too. And I think I, I, I know that there are a lot of quick time events <laughs> in this game. And I just want to have it said right now that I am terrible with quick time events. So, <laughs> this might actually be a bit of a disaster. Episode 1, A New Day. I'm assuming this is chronologically like at the beginning of the, the zombie apocalypse incident that caused the actual show. And I'm guessing that's us. What have we done? What did we do? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um, does it really matter? Why do you say that? Oh my god, there's a countdown! Oh, Why do you say that? Why do you say that? No, I've driven oh a god, bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm. Um, what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. What's a 1091E? Hello. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Mm, so you've got an opinion? You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. Who did I kill? I, I killed someone? What's tens and twenties? I got a nephew uh, up at UGA. Uh, homicide since you suicide, teach there long? Maybe? Going on my sixth year. Okay, I'm a teacher. You meet your wife in Athens? I am a teacher who killed someone. Possibly you know my how wife? I see sure. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Did I kill my wife? Could be I did. <sighs> mm, okay. Riot in progress. Ooh, riot in progress. Anyone else seem important to you? Holla. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. Mm -hmm. He just wailing back there. Glasses. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like Dude, a watch the road. baby on an airplane. Not telling Please watch the road. Stop. That's government property. Buddy. I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Buddy, you so want to watch the road? Having exhausted all his options, he you could have hit that pot. <laughs> Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. I was actually confused right now for a second because do it? they're driving on the right they side. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his <laughs> wife, cutting English, her guys. up as the boys came through <laughs> the door. He sits in my car, screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. 
it goes to show people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more. Hilarious. Oh, buddy, watch the road. Buddy, buddy, this buddy. This other time. Didn't go so well, did it? New, new, new. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! That does not sound good. Oh, no, it does not. I guess the only reason why they didn't get to us is because of that. Of the. <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> Is it a great? I guess. But it might have saved our lives. Thirsty. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Ah, that does not look so good, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at cop. Hey! Hey officer! No. Are you alright? I'm no. still cut back here! Don't don't yell, there could be zombies around. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Well... Probably because things are munching on him. Damn it. Oh, many. Oh, many. oh this is making too much noise. Good thing he's wearing good boots because he's gonna need them. Move forward. Um, well... Oh, okay. Oh god. It's a lot of... Actions that I need to take, probably later under stress situations. Great. Wasn't there a tree that we bumped into? Ah, ooh, that does look very painful. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Okay, let's shimmy along the car and grab that gun because boy, are we going to need it. Come on, grab the gun. Grab the, the gun. Is there. Yes, I know. Grab it. Grab it. Grab the gun. Pick up the gun. <laughs> oh. oh, the leg looks painful. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. <laughs> There's a shell over there. Grab the shell. Grab the shell. You're gonna need it. You're gonna thank me for this. <laughs> you got a shell now, put it in your picking up the shell and put it in your pocket. Officer Please don't please don't talk so loud. He's gonna jump up and try to bite me, isn't he? Of course he is. Maybe I'll get my my I should be able to get my handcuffs off first, right? That would that would be <laughs> I don't like going near his mouth. Please don't bite me. Please. Ooh. Sheesh. Open them. Open them and move away from this dude. Like, seriously, just don't keep standing there. Move away. Don't take your eyes off that guy because he's gonna get up and try to bite you. That's what I said! Officer. I told you that! <laughs> Move away! Move away! Move away! Move away! Move away! And grab the shotgun! Grab the shotgun! Grab the shotgun! Grab the gun! 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 Load the gun! Load the gun! Oh my god! Dude, you're useless! Grab the shell! Grab the shell! Jesus fuck! Don't make me do this! Do it! Do it! Thing we shot the head because we only had one shell, and if we did not hit the head, he would just keep moving. Ooh. This skin's all rotten, and he smells like shit. <laughs> what the hell? Is yeah, this? I bet zombie apocalypse is not pleasant. Hello. Hello. Help! Go get someone. Don't. 
finish shooting! Yes, she has the right idea. So I've got me some slack. Just keep moving. Just keep walking, baby. Just keep walking. <laughs> oh, buddy, 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 they gonna eat you alive. <coughs> Run! Run, bro! I'm not doing anything. It's cutscene, so it's just it's just happening. Ooh, you you make me suck shit. That leg's gonna get infected real bad. You're gonna die of sepsis and come back as one of those. Now what? Someone's shooting. That's good, that distracts them. If I ever got to be an extra in a film, I'd want to be a zombie. That Hello? would be awesome. Just anybody crazy ass makeup and just walking around. I want to look at all the things. I cannot look at the shack. That sucks. Can I look at the treehouse? Please let me look at. Can I? Can I fall in the pool? I can look Maybe at the I'll pool. Just go for a dip. Yes, let's go for a dip. That sounds like a great idea. Help! Not like there's a zombie. Please stop yelling, you idiot! No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Hmm. No, he's just gonna yell. I'm not gonna make him yell again. Look at the thing. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Yep, drink right now would probably be great. Is that blood on that ring? Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Uh, are you st completely out of your mind? No one has given him a zombie 101. I wonder if anybody's home. No one's gonna yell if they can hear you because they think Hello. you'll just yell. Everybody They'll come home. for him. I need a little help. I come actually don't in. know what's happening with my accent don't here right shoot, now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah. Hello. Not an intruder, or one of them. This looks These ominous. There's gonna be a zombie in here somewhere. I know it. The music is ominous. It's this damn ominous zombie music. It's blood. Oh, you are an idiot. You were just looking at the blood. How can you just slip in it? You're gonna get creepy infected blood in your in your wound and it's gonna get horribly infected and ooh, ooh, look what I found. I found a goodie. No, look, look in the other drawers. Anything in here? No. What did I have there? Cut the way that way. Ooh, drink! You were thirsty, weren't you? Yes. Get a drink. Just get a random drink. Get a drink of something random standing around. Totally, totally the logical thing to do. Something beeping. Oh, 
I think I looked in everything now. Mm. Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Well, there's obviously a kid living in this place. <laughs> obviously, there's obviously a kid living. I mean, treehouse. Probably. Maybe it's the little girl. It's probably the little girl. Is that what was beeping? Maybe there's something on there. Probably. Maybe there's something on there. Yep. What's that beeping? That's the answering machine. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're oh, still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's Ed's not, not going well to make it. Drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling all us anything about back. Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. No, they're Message not. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's nine grim. one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. I oh, know that's the little girl, all right. Thank you. Give him the pep talk. She clearly knows how to handle herself. I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. Good. He wouldn't be talking if he was. She's in the treehouse, isn't she? Because I don't think she'd be in here. Unless, of course, she's upstairs. Um, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. <laughs> she's not house. under the table. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Hi, Lee. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, in the blood again. I think. Where the boats are? Oh. Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's, That's what smart. I thought. Smart, smart. See? Can you see me? Oh, there she I is. I can see you through the window. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, uh, oh shit, oh, 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 pew, 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 oh, blood, 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 oh, you're such an idiot, run, she has a hammer. Grab the hammer. Grab the hammer. Grab the hammer. Get the hammer. Get the hammer. Quick, get the hammer. 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 Smash her. Dressed to be on the safe side. Ew, yeah, I think she's dead. Yeah, yeah, I think she's good. Ew. Poor Sandra. Man. Hi there. You're better than blood, dude. Did you kill it? Uh, I don't know, I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Oh, that one. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. Good. You've been all by yourself through this? Aww. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Such a brave little girl. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, Aww. I don't know what happened. 
but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh crap, before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Are you kidding me? We need me? to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, <laughs> it's not safe at night. No, it's not. That would be insane. Let's go. Stay close to me. He really needs someone to look at that leg. <laughs> oh, oh, where am I going? Oh, hello. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. No. Oh. Can I talk to her? No? Okay, I'm gonna open the gate. Open the gate! Close the gate! What's the matter? Should I stay? What? No! I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. I, I won't leave, leave you alone. alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Let's ask these two guys. They seem like decent fellas. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> Don't shoot us! gonna hurt you. Yeah. We're people we talk. Second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chum. Nah. We're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because mm -hmm. you should be. Mm -hmm. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta 15 gnarly. months back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hi, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. Green, I'll let you help as us clear in... the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should Herschel be safe Green there. And I'm not Beth a Green. Um. Um, babysitter. Her not babysitter. some guy. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Stay Don't stab my back, Clementine. What do you want to do? I... Five, two, four. Your monster's coming. Oh. We gotta go. Lee, oh. quick. Oh. Let's go. Do the pushy, do the pushy, do the pushy. Chet, what are you even doing? You're being utterly useless. You should help us. I have a wounded leg. Clementine's more useful than you are. Look at me, I can barely walk. Go. His babysitters go? Hello. I'd say your parents are you a tip. Are those the same guys that were pursuing me earlier in the woods? Probably, because I think I recognize that chinless lady. <laughs> yeah, they're out on a farm. It's definitely Herschel Green's farm. That is awesome. <laughs> So we already have our first visit to a place from the show. Yay! Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. I must admit to my I'll catch you tomorrow night. disgrace. I it was nice Sean. to meet you both. Was he in the show? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him so with Chet you So Chet just ran home? 
You've brought a couple guests. Hello. Um, your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So oh. it's just you and your daughter, then. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Clementine? Clementine? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. Ooh, he looks like well. a kicked puppy. Come on, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Doesn't he have two sisters if they're Let's have a look. the Greens? Because Beth yeah, and Maggie. This is swollen to hell. I'm terrible with names. I think her name was Maggie. Um, it hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. <laughs> I bet it, it looks does. pretty shit, too. What did you say your name was? It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. That's what I thought. How'd this happen? Mm, car accident. I don't like to lie so, to Herschel. Where are you He's headed before the car accident. Just out, out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. <laughs> One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. I like being honest with Herschel. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. You House killed someone. Mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Thank I you. didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Oh. I'm Such looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. No, it does. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Oh, yes, it does. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, it does. come on. We Tell know what that. you saw out there, man. Um, I got run over. I kept crawling. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We yes, gotta we do it. Really. Yes. I already said I'm okay. with Sean on that one. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Oh, good. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh, please don't. <laughs> Clementine's we'll face. Clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clementine's expression in the background's up twice she was like, such in the barn. And then we'll be seeing you bright and early. I like it. Come tomorrow. Which way She's do you adorable. think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Oh, she's so cute. Oh. All right then. It smells like... Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> sorry. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. I have no idea where Savannah is. No idea. I mean, it's gonna be fine, right? I love you, baby. I love the wife. <laughs> what happened to the wife? Did he kill her? Did someone else kill her? I don't know. No one knows. Hey, get up. <sighs> Hello. I'm itchy. <laughs> well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, oh, her her face is the Babes best. Face. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. 
Oh my god, look at the freckles. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking. Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> the word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I can do that. Uh, last I'll the girl. see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a oh, very so pretty cute. name. Thanks. Well, we she's should get to so work. We've cute. all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright. And I think I'm going to leave it at this for this episode. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. <laughs> it does, believe me. It does. Um, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. I hope you enjoyed my first little snoop into The Walking Dead. And I hope you'll be back for the next episode. If you enjoyed this, leave a comment and a like. And I will see you next time.